Hello. In last part of this video, we saw the classical geometric relationship between these two triangles: one to root five triangle and three four five Pythagorean triple. In this part, we are going to see some detailed geometric features of these two triangles, which enable them to combinedly impart the precise value of golden ratio. All right. First, let us see the side lengths of these two triangles. As we have seen in very first part of this video, the side lengths of one, two, root five triangle are the precise expression of golden ratio. Like this catheter one, this is precisely equal to inverse of golden ratio one upon five plus one upon five square. Okay. Similarly, this catheter two. This is also precisely equal to. Golden ratio plus one upon square of golden ratio, and the hypotenuse root five. It is precisely equal to golden ratio plus inverse of golden ratio, and this hypotenuse root five. It can also be written as square of golden ratio minus inverse the square of golden ratio. All right, and just like one two root five triangle, the sides of three four five Pythagorean triple, they can be also expressed in precise terms of golden ratio, like the side three. It is precisely equal to five square plus one upon five square. Okay, this side. The longer catheter four. This is also precisely equal to five cube minus inverse of five cube. Okay, and the hypotenuse five. This is also precisely equal to root five times golden ratio plus root five upon golden ratio. Got it. All six side lengths of this classically related triangles can be precisely expressed in terms of golden ratio, and not just three sides. Even the angles of these two triangles are the precise expression of golden ratio. We have already seen how the angles of one, two, root five triangle can be expressed in terms of golden ratio. All four acute angles of these two right triangles can be expressed in terms of golden ratio. Like here, the larger acute angle of one to root five triangle. This is sixty three point four three five, and so on in degrees. This angle is precisely equal to twice the arc time. Of the inverse of golden ratio, and we have also seen this angle. This angle is twenty six point five six five and so on in degrees. This angle is also precisely equal to twice the arc tangent of the inverse of the cube of golden ratio. Okay. More important thing is here. Not just these two triangles, but the acute angle of three, four, five Pythagorean triple. This can also be expressed in terms of golden ratio. All acute angles can be expressed in terms of arc tangent of phi raised to n or one upon phi raised to n. And n is equal to odd powers of golden ratio. Like n is equal to one, or n is equal to three, or n is equal to five, and so on. Let me elaborate. This angle, the larger acute angle of one to root five, 
This can be written as twice the arc tangent of inverse of golden ratio. It can be also written as the arc tangent of phi cube minus the arc tangent of 1 upon phi cube. Okay. Now let us see the acute angles of 3, 4, 5 Pythagorean triple. This angle here, this is 53.13 degrees. And this angle can also be expressed in form of the odd powers of golden ratio. Like this 53.13 degrees, this angle is precisely equal to arc tangent of the fifth power of golden ratio minus arc tangent of the inverse of golden ratio. Also, this is exactly equal to the arc tangent of golden ratio minus arc tangent of 1 upon fifth power of golden ratio. Okay. Now, another acute angle of 3, 4, 5 Pythagorean triple. This 36.87 and so on in degrees. This angle is precisely equal to arc tangent of 1 upon fifth power of golden ratio plus arc tangent of 1 upon golden ratio. This can this angle can be also written as twice the arc tangent of phi cube minus arc tangent of phi. Just like all sides, all four acute angles can be precisely expressed in terms of golden ratio. More specifically, odd powers of golden ratio 1, 3 and 5. Alright, I just want to mention another remarkable thing here. Consider these four acute angles. This angle, smaller acute angle of Pythagorean triple, is the complementary angle for twice of this angle. Twice of this 26.565 degrees plus 36.87 degrees, they add up to 90 degrees. I repeat, this angle of Pythagorean triple is complementary angle for twice of this angle. Similarly, this angle of Pythagorean triple is the supplementary angle for twice of this angle. Twice of this angle and this angle of Pythagorean triple, they add up to 180 degrees. Another important thing, look at these two smaller acute angles. Two smaller acute angles of these two triangles, they add up to the larger acute angle of 1 to root 5 triangle. 26.565 degrees and 36.87 degrees, they add up to this acute angle. Okay? And another last important thing, twice of this angle, twice of smaller acute angle of 1 to root 5 triangle is equal to larger acute angle of Pythagorean triple. Such a classical intimacy. And hence, when we dissect these two triangles, we always get a couple of 1 to root 5 triangle plus 1 Pythagorean triple. Dissection of these two triangles impart couple of these angles and 1 Pythagorean triple. Alright? Okay.